home group. Now that you know how to create a home group, we will show you how another user can join one and share media files with others. Before we begin, we must first remember that any computer that wishes to join a home group must have their network location set to home, or they will not be able to establish a successful connection. Also note that all computers must also have synchronized dates and clocks, so be sure to ensure that this information is correct on all computers. We are now on John's PC. John is already connected to the home network by earlier selecting the network icon and connecting to the EasyWay internet connection. But if you need to change your network location, you can do this at any time by simply opening the Network and Sharing Center, clicking this link here and selecting Home as your network location. John will now join the EasyWay Home Group. To do this, he can either, as in our last example, type the word Home Group into the search box on the Start menu, or alternatively, by visiting the control panel and selecting the Choose Home Group and Sharing Options link, like so. Here, he is informed that EasyWay has created a home group that can be joined. To do this, simply click Join Now to proceed, and he is then asked what files he would like to share with others. Since I would like to have access to his school homework, I have requested he also includes his documents and once done, he clicks Next to proceed. He is now asked to enter the unique home group password, which he needs to obtain from the home group creator. And once done, click Next, and after a few seconds, he is notified that he has successfully joined the home group. Click Finish, and you're presented with the home group settings screen. John will also check this checkbox, to allow all existing and future media devices in the home to be detected and enabled to play back his media. And then he clicks Save Changes to complete the joining process. To verify that the process has been successful, he revisits the network and sharing center and now also sees the message stating that he has joined the home group. Now that John has joined the home group, he can share his files with other users. He can also verify that he can share the printer we earlier installed on the EasyWay PC by simply clicking here. Now anytime he prints a document on his PC, it will automatically be printed on the wireless printer. You can also see that back on the EasyWay machine, all computers connected to the home group can now be found listed here. We can now browse his files at any time. For example, we can review his school homework. Listen to his music. or even view his videos. You can also now use Windows Media Player and Media Center to browse and view any video or music files on the home group. And this will be demonstrated later on in the multimedia section of the tutorial. Now that you know how to create a home group and share media files, we will move on to the various ways to organize and work.